another episode of New Release Tuesday. My name is Liz and today we're going to talk about some trippy books. I've gone back to doing the format of splitting these into categories of different kinds of books and so first I want to start off with Half-Lives by Sarah Grant and this is about uh, these two teenagers who are fighting for the future and fighting uh, against this evil tyrant. Plague in the Mirror by Deborah Noyes, and this is about uh, a girl who goes off to Florence, Italy with her best friend and uh, his mother. She's a travel journalist type person. And uh, of course she goes to her hotel room, looks in the mirror, sees her doppelganger from 1348. And guess what? Doppelganger wants to switch places. Only Ever Always by Penny Roussan, and this is about a girl who can travel via her silver music box. The Theory of Everything by Carrie Luna, and this is about a girl who, uh, her brain isn't quite right all the time. Uh, basically her shaman is a panda. Um, she does have a best friend, she does have human friends. Uh, her father is a physicist who kind of misses some things from time to time. Uh, just disappearing for days. So this is supposed to be for fans of uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower, Going Bovine, and um, uh, Scott Pilgrim. And so if you like those books, this book is going to be for you. In the Go On category, which is kind of like companions and the variations of that. Still Starcrossed by Melinda Taub, and this is about kind of the aftermath after Romeo and Juliet. Uh, you know, the Montagues and the Capulets still fighting? Alright. Uh, and the prince is like, hey, let me ship two people from your families, OTP William Shakespeare style, and see what works out. Right of Way by Lauren Barnholt, and this is a companion novel to Two Way Street, and so it's about this couple who has broken up, and uh, they still end up going on a road trip together and kind of figuring out all of the things. In the Life on the Line category, we have In Too Deep by Court Voorhees, and this is about a girl named Annie and this guy Josh, who she has a crush on, and um, their teacher is like, hey, let's go exploring for this long lost treasure. And of course, w you can't search for treasure unless there's multiple people looking for that treasure and somebody's life is on the line. We have seen Muppet Treasure Island, haven't we? Smoke Screen by Nancy Hartree, and I wasn't sure what the summer job was, but it's about two girls who are uh, in a summer job uh, way up north in a forest, and uh, I guess they have to fight fire sometimes, and then uh, I'm guessing they're like forest rangers. I'm, I'm not particularly sure, but they have to fight forest fires, and there's something crazy going on with these dudes in the woods, maybe a little bit of deliverance in there. And now on to sequels, which I know is your favorite part. Just your favorite. I'm just putting it on you. Letting you know. And the first one of these is Zombie Angels by Darren Shan, and this is the fourth book in the zombie series. Uh, and basically, Zombie, or pfft, Zombie, B, uh, finds uh, this group called the Angels who are looking to fight back against the zombies. Raven Flight by Juliet Marlier, and this is basically fantasy and fighting. Quarantine the Saints by Lex Thomas, and this is uh, the sequel to. Uh, quarantine, I think the first one's the loners, something like that, uh, but basically the saints come in and they're like, we're gonna be the popular ones now, we're gonna see how this works out, and uh, yeah, it's supposed to be kind of like Lord of the Flies meets Gone. And last but not least, we have Who Needs Magic by Kathy McCullough, and this is about a girl who uh, has found out that she's a fairy godmother. Your life is crazy. That is all for this week's new release Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me below what books you are planning on reading, and uh, have a great week.